Hello and welcome to another edition of Andy's Little Sci-Fi Horror Show. I'm Drew and uh, Andy's not here right now because tonight I'm going to introduce him to five horribly horrible horror movies he's going to have to watch before he dies. I've been waiting to do this for a long time. So let's go to his house and surprise the crap out of him. Okay, so we just arrived at Andy's house and we're about to find out what he's up to and we're gonna see if he's up to seeing these movies. Oh, there he is. What's up with this? I don't know. Oh, you're, ready? you're filming already? Yeah, I'm filming something already. All right. Come I got on. something for you. Tonight's a very special night. This is five wonderfully horrible horror films you need to see before you die. It's Drew, special edition. Yes, these are Drew's choice. Take it from here, Drew. Okay, now I've been enduring these kinds of movies for a while now. We've done a few episodes. So, of course, I had to look in my video archive vault to see if I had anything that you haven't seen. The first movie we're going to be taking a look at is a classic. Like I said before, these are Drew's choices, so I have no idea what's coming. So, my reaction could be your reaction. Now, in the world of Hollywood, where you have a very successful film and you have a movie that's been... Uh, big and it's made lots of money the common thing to do is of course to copy it or if you can't copy it you totally rip it off and that's where this movie comes in play ladies and gentlemen I give you Transmorphers you will follow my orders but you do not fight for me you fight for yourselves for your loved ones and for all the generations that follow us Rip off. I don't know. <laughs> I got nothing. This is from the asylum. And this is one of those straight to DVD. From the five people who brought you Dino Croc. <laughs> and this is a tour de force of really bad digital composite shots. They, they, they were bad, but I'm. I'm not so much annoyed by them trying to copy Transformers or anything like that. I'm, they, I'm confused. I mean, they had a, a cast, good set. As far as sci fi, a low budget sci fi goes, it looked good. They could have just made a movie like with great killer alien robots and just had their own thing going on. I guess Shia LaBeouf wasn't available. <laughs> but don't worry, Andy. I thought I saw him in there. Yeah, I got another movie for you. All right. I know I, on me. another movie that you're going to love. This isn't quite as much fun because I actually like all his crappy movies. I love crappy movies. He, he gets a little worked out over them. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, of course, seeing as how we have the Asylum media and we have uh, Transformers here, we have another one, another uh, great, fantastic uh, title that you may have heard from from the Asylum Group, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mega Shark versus Giant Octopus. This is an amazing movie. You've already seen this? I'm, oh, are you kidding me? I love this movie. This is a trailer that Debbie hit Gibson. The... Debbie Gibson rocks this freaking movie. There's only one thing better than Debbie Gibson's performance in this, and that's that freaking shark eating that plane. Let's show it to him. There's something big out there. We're dealing with a menace. Something's messing up the whale's migration. Look to its eyes. It rises. Target closing. Wasn't that 
that awesome? That was freaking amazing. That's a, I, I love no. this. <laughs> Come on. Now look, it's got the shark on the back of the... And this movie just took off from the strengths of the trailer alone. And that's, yeah. why you, that's why we're here talking about this. Moving on to the next piece de resistance. Now, if you're talking about movies from the 1970s, and you want to see a movie that's maybe a little bit of Jaws and a little bit about something else, ladies and gentlemen, I give you another classic bad, horrible horror movie you have to see. Frogs. Dude. <laughs> you have it? I got frogs. I got my own copy of Frogs right over here. Terrible. Terrible. Wonderful. Check, <laughs> check it out. Check the, you gotta check this out. Suppose nature gave a war and everybody came. The snakes, the birds, the lizards and frogs. And suppose that the polluters, the species on Earth called man, were the enemy in that war. I still believe man is master of the world. Now did I pick him, or did I pick him? Okay, dude. I thought you topped yourself with Mega Shark there, but no, Frog Man. <laughs> this is like the children shouldn't play with dead things of crappy animal attack movies. Oh, yeah. Half the time they're using lizards and chameleons because <laughs> they couldn't get frogs to look scary. I mean, this is 1972, you know? Mm. And this is another prime example of proper uh, advertisement. The one thing that sold this movie to a lot of people was the poster, and actually the poster is right there on the back. So you got the frogs with the frog with the, the hand yeah, out of it. Too. Actually, I, know, I got mine from the five dollar bin at Walmart a couple years back. This was actually awesome. a gift from my sister. <laughs> she gave it to me for Christmas one year, and uh, thank you very much, Evelyn. She thank doesn't you. love you, I'm telling you. <laughs> on, we're moving on. This count, uh, this train's keeping on going. The pain train continues. I'm not in pain. I'm I'm loving it now. A lot of people think that 80s sci-fi comedies and science fiction movies kind of go together like peanut butter and pickles, but I don't know, with this one, it actually kind of works. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the dosy little gem of... Pickle peanut butter. My Science Project. Dude, come on. <laughs> you think I saw this? That's the greatest thing in the world. This is a great movie. Okay, hold when on. When you're cool, the sun shines on you 24 hours a day. Here we go. Yeah. You guys cut my science fine. No, no, What's no, with no. you guys? Where were you? Well, we, we got kind of hung up in the auto shop. You yeah, know? in the ozone. In the ozone flow zone. I'm tired of you 4Fs. I want to tell you one thing. Unless your project is Dino Supreme, you both get D. I love this movie. movie this movie is hilarious. <laughs> this movie, yeah, this was one of those movies that just, just took a little bit of everything. You know, every, you know anyone who is... A B-list actor, a C-list actor at the time, just put it in some of the greatest, some of the greatest early sci-fi special effects. I mean, they're they're horrible. I'm not gonna yeah, lie to you, they're, they're horrible. pretty bad. But so it's the movie. <laughs> so I mean, it's perfect. You have to see these films before you die. Oh movie. yeah, this is just an absolute necessity. The last bad movie that you have to see before you die. You know, there's extreme sports, and then there's bad sci-fi. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is one of those bad sci-fi movies. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Rollerball! That's my uh, wonderfully horrible horror films and various other things you have to watch before you die. Yes, oh, I'm sorry, my name's Andy. And I'm Drew. See you next time.